John, can you see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, you guys are good to go. Perfect. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's mayor's managers meeting for mm -hmm. day, July 27th. Um, online with me is City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, City Manager Sean Lewis, and Mayor Pro Tem Steve Ward. John, I'll let you kick it off. Great, thanks, Mayor. Uh, we'll start with the August 1st meeting. We have a study session on Budget Advisory Committee's annual report, and then the financial policies update. This is where we'll look at ratcheting, sliding, and some of the other policies. And then move into um, regular session with a motion to approve uh, updates to the strategic plan for quarter two. And then we'll have a motion for approval to provide contract security services for EF and the Civic Center properties. Um, next, we've got a bill for an ordinance on second reading for the cooperative agreement regarding pass through revenue for school finance. Act compliance. This is um, for the IGA with the TIF um, right. between the EDDA, the city, and the school district. First reading of an ordinance um, to accept the DOLA special in initiative grant. First reading for an ordinance for Arapahoe County Coordinated Election Services. And then first reading. Um, to allow court and prosecution staff to hand documents to defendants and witnesses to authorize court to withdraw a bench warrant and, st and instead serve summons. Yeah, Next week, thank you. Uh, any questions on August 1st? Just need to assign cons consent to some of the items. <clears throat> okay. And do we have times? Yes, on study session. All right, so we're looking at which one here? Uh, contract uh, updates for safety. To, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm guessing no. Oh, yeah, so we've, we've, the first one on my list is the strategic plan um, updates. Oh, yeah, let's strategic plan. I say yes. Okay. I actually prefer updates to the strategic plan not to go on consent. Uh, I think it keeps us focused on our overall mission. If we actually have a discussion um, whenever we are looking through the strategic plan. I'll I think, that. I think go ahead, it's John. good for the public to hear that too. <clears throat> and then the security um, contract. This is going to be a new combined contract where we no longer have two different companies working in the building. It'll be one company um, that can coordinate, backfill each other for absences. But the court has had their own and then EF has had their own. So this is a new combined. But it's big, it's a big contract. Okay, I may have some questions on it anyway, so I would say no. Okay. Um, this, this may one. not have gotten changed. Was this uh, unanimous? Oh, I think the, it was. Yeah, so we I, sometimes this doesn't get changed for second reading, so I'll change that. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost sure it was. Yeah, me too. Okay. We've got a uh, Dola reading. Special Initiative grant. Um I would oh, say this is I, this is the one that we're getting money from the state, I believe, for the lifeguards. It's oh, okay. like back, yeah. I would say yes. Okay. Election, election IGA. Oh, yeah, we put that. Are you guys okay with that for being consent? We do it yeah. every year, right? Yep. Every year there's an election, yes. Okay. This one is a change to process um, for the court that um, the prosecutor's office suggested and Tamara wrote up. Um, yeah, I would be fine putting it on consent. I'm not sure if anyone would pull it, but. I right think now, it's cops. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 
it's it's not particularly controversial right now cops have to come from the police department to to take a piece of paper from one person in the court and hand it to a person so this will allow the court staff to be able to do that okay don't worry me okay yep oh real quick stephanie sorry are you just adding mayor's choice that one item about centennial park Yep, I will just manually add the item onto the agenda. I don't okay. believe there will be any um, supporting documentation you need with that, is there? I don't think so. Yeah, uh, okay. The only thing that may be on there is just uh, what the current regulations are for off-leash in which parks. That would, that would be it, but yeah, I don't think it needs so much. Okay. This whole uh, meeting day is devoted to the uh, budget for the 8th. Okay. Great. Any questions on that? August 15th, overview of complete streets initiative and applicability to Inglewood Street Network. Just real quick, Sean, are we expecting that for the 8th to be like three hours long or what's the what's the expectation? I think we. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm just kind of curious. Um, I, let's see, start at seven. Oh, study session, so we'll start at six. Uh -huh. Um. I don't know. Okay, no, that's fine. It, we have a lot of direction, but I think I've made it clear that staff is proposing that we put all additional funding um, this year into number one, our two contracts that we have for our employee collective bargaining units um, for their salary increases, and then similar to for the MSC and the MSCH employees, and that does eat up a lot of the budget. So council is going to need to. Definitely give direction on that. Um, and then on the 15th, we've got the street, complete streets um, overview. Let me and see that, what's that? I was just checking to see if that was the only study session item for that meeting so far. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. For as long as their description is, it may need to be <laughs> the whole hour. <laughs> And then we, next we have a revision of the visiting period for the 457 retirement plan. This is a benefits change, I believe, that um, HR is posing. We've got a resolution for budget supplemental number three. This will be to put money that's already in the budget, but into the proper account for things like the bridge house um, purchase that you've already allocated, but it hasn't been put into a budget. Then we'll have a financial policies resolution um, to update some of those depending on the outcome of your study session. Um, still on the 15th, approval of the EPBA, that's the police union contract, um, which is the same percentage as the EEA contract you approved. And then um, we have executive session for performance reviews. Mm -hmm and a second reading of an ordinance for ooh, just a uh, code cleanup yeah yeah okay and then first reading of an iga with centennial for a traffic signal system to system communication project for interconnectivity first reading of an ordinance um, regarding quarterly billing cycles for utility billing <laughs> And then this another one is, code. I yeah. believe this is another code cleanup. Yeah. Okay. Regarding traffic. Thank you. <laughs> and then we have um, uh, animal impoundment code cleanup. That's and it for the 15th. Any questions on those? No, but I'm thinking most of those should be on consent. Okay. Uh, Mayor Breton, do you disagree with me there on the code cleanups, at least? Nope, no objection. Great. 815, okay. Great, okay. Can we go back yeah. to the inter intergovernment agreement, though? So that's what's continuing. Obviously, that's not a code cleanup. Do we have that on consent right now, or? We don't have anything down yet. Okay. I would be fine putting that on consent as well, but. 
very little information that we have on it, but all right, we can move on to the next date. Okay. About the 22nd. Um, I apologize. This one uh, just it's it's just coming forward. So that's just coming forward on August 6th or I'm sorry, September 6th. So it hasn't been changed yet. So this one is not in there anymore. OK. All right, ready for the 22nd. Yep. Um, was is there one the sustainability one? Is that on the 22nd, Stephanie? Yeah, so that one is the one that's getting changed to just be at a regular meeting. Um, oh, thank you. Sorry. So that'll be in September, coming forward in September. So Great. that was a placeholder. I apologize. All right. And then we have historic preservation study. Um, this is the presentation to council from that preservation study that's been done. Then we have the July uh, financial report. Uh, investment policy statement for 401 457 plans. Um, code next update. And presentation on potential uses for opioid settlement funds. And it, keep go it keeps going. <laughs> yeah, a lot of topics on this one. Presentation on 5G telecommunications regulation and limitations and city's authority under applicable law. And Tamara, you had mentioned that was the earliest that they could do this, right? Uh, no, actually, um, they could. We originally had it scheduled for August 8th, but because that was reserved just for budget, we had to move it to the 22nd. Oh, gotcha. We do have the one that um, has, just has one topic on it right now, don't we? Was that the one in between the 8th and, yeah, 15th? Yeah. Let me go back up to it. Sorry to give you a flash here. Yeah. August 15th, we're talking, yeah. But that definitely would be an abbreviated conversation because we would we already have a topic on one one topic on study session. Well, if you so this is a 15 minute presentation. If you know what how much you want to assign for discussion, I it looks like Tamara, the 5G item was a 20 minute presentation. So we may still be able to put it here if you want to prior to a regular meeting. Uh, let me reach out to outside council and see if they're available on the. Uh, I want to make sure that we give this discussion enough time. Uh, so okay, then, I'm not willing to abut against any time constraints. The only thing I would suggest is that uh, perhaps the eighth might be appropriate um, to have this discussion before we discuss the budget, um, if if that's an option. But I don't know if it is. Well, yeah, that's definitely up to council's. In council's purview, I I would be up for that as well, just because it has been a consensus issue to have it for the eighth, but also just understanding the time constraints with the budget for that night. So, so if we go to ten, I'll be okay with that. Tamara, do you think outside council will have everything ready for the eighth? Uh, let me double check. I that was our initial preferred date, so let me make sure that still works for them. Sorry to be throwing a wrench in that. I just was responding to a council member yesterday who said, Ooh, is there any way we can get that earlier? OK. That was us. We were instructed to just keep budget budget. So yeah, we were trying to push things off, but we're happy to add that back in. I do think if they can do it on the 8th, maybe we could start the meeting for, um, you know, at like 530 potentially if council wanted to, but. Uh, yeah. Okay. No worries either way. All right. Do we want to look at other agendas? Just keep going. Yeah, uh, let's look at the six since we're pushing one study session item to that date. Just want to make sure we don't go past seven. Okay. So I think we're okay. So right now we don't have a study session item for the six. Am I reading this correct? Oh, we have two. Oh, we have two. Um, yeah, I, I think those those shouldn't be too long. But then what was the one that that's currently on the 22nd that's going to be part of the six sustainability? But yeah, but that's know. just coming forward as an item, not a study session. Oh, then we're good. OK, we're good. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we should be OK. Can we just go through September just so I can see the schedule for the public hearing and the. 
mm -hmm. um, the budget and that we don't have to go through each individual line item, but just wanted to see where the decision making's occurring. Okay. So, sorry, do you want me to back up? This is the sixth Tuesday. Proclamations, motion, another executive session. Yeah, because I'm thinking that the budget is going to be on the 13th. This, I the believe last this. Go, the last go around of the budget should be on the 13th or on the 12th, I guess I should say. Before the public hearing, which would be on the 20th. So the public hearing is on the 19th. OK. That's what I yeah, I just want to get timing. OK, do you want me to keep going down? No, I, I'm fine with it unless Mayor Cortez, you wanted to see all of September. No concerns. OK. All right. Let's see here. Sean, did you want to go through uh, what you have for council, requ council requests? Sure. <clears throat> Up. This is weird. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. No. The seven twenty five. I don't for some reason my notes um are not pulling up. Okay. I'm yeah, not meeting, I but yeah, I um, think at least from uh, Member Anderson, I had the feasibility to uh, Mr. Emil Hines's uh, basically outline five things that we need to look to. So just the feasibility on that. What could be notified? What could be done to notify neighbors of issues uh, such as what occurred that evening for the Lapan? Yes, and I, I have pulled it up. I've stored it under the wrong title. Okay. Um, yeah, so analyze and assess change of park hours, new lighting, um, police patrol, limiting access to the small parking lot of Shenango. So we've got parks is working on those. Um, we also had um, a suggestion about a neighborhood event or a neighborhood meeting rather for mm -hmm. that and the. Um, for the folks who have been uh, in close proximity to the new um, 5G tower. Then we had. With member Anderson, I had also with the liability to renegotiate what's the better process for the 5G. That's how I worded it, but Tamara, you may have it worded a little differently. And then STRs, current process, and whether or not there's an actual person going through the listings. Mm -hmm. And then member Woodward was about the reverse 911. Right. And I thought I had one more, but I don't seem to have my note on it. But I had member Woodward on that one. Union camp. It was a follow up on our procedure after major events occur in the uh, community. Yeah. Okay. And then we also had the request for the um, report from Littleton regarding um, their assessment of ownership opportunities and possibilities. Uh -huh. So I've just got that. I'll forward that to council today. OK. All right. Perfect. I have nothing else. Mayor, pretend you have anything. I do not. Staff. I uh, yes, Mayor, I have um, one issue. The, of course, our charter review project was anticipated to be in multiple phases, and phase one is now packaged and, and on the ballot. So we need to start phase two, which is going through charter from beginning to end and talking about it um, with council and, and receiving direction on changes you would like to propose. So our question is, how do you want to do that? We could do a um, study session once a month. We could schedule it for the fifth Mondays of the month just for charter. Um, how, how would you like for us to proceed? 
remind me on this and Mayor Pro Tem, I think you may have suggested this or it may have been member Russell. Were we were we gonna start with meeting with the public on this? On I am trying to recall what we decided. I'll have to go back through my notes. Does anybody remember? Uh, I, I know we had talked about that. I, what we anticipated from a staff level is first um, our outside consultant would go through the charter with council and then see issues that um, you may want to explore or, or propose changes and then perhaps have a, a, a town hall style meeting where then we go through those specific issues at the town hall to, to maybe gauge public sentiment on it. Is it possible that we could do that on an existing night? Such as yep. a study session night and not necessarily a, a night that includes the council meeting. And I think we only had one item on the 14th. I'm not sure how long that meeting was or the 12th, I guess I should say. And then I think we slow down a little bit once we get into once we approve the budget. I think we slow down in terms of study session items, but we didn't look into October, so. It's all flexible at this point. Timeline procedure. It's it's open. OK. That would be yeah, my, my, preference. my preference would be to include this in in regular study sessions. Yeah. And you think one once a month does that work? Yeah, I would think so. Right. Until we see otherwise. <laughs> so, but thank you, city attorney. You're welcome, and I'll I'll get that scheduled. And I'm sorry, Mayor. I did I did have one other thing. Sure. Um, we we talked about splitting the study session agendas and the regular session agendas on regular session nights. What what did we decide on that? I don't believe anything's been decided. There was a council request to get input of what that would take to do that. So I think that came in as a council request, but I don't think anything has been formally decided by council. I think that we should at least release separate agendas. Um, yeah. This is something that I talked to Council Member Nana Camp on. Um, just emphasizing the distinction between the study session on a regular meeting night and the regular meeting itself. Yeah, I don't think anything has been decided, but City Clerk, can you put that as Mayor's choice for this coming Monday as well? And maybe you and I talk about if that. I, I don't see why it would cause any issues, but uh, separate agendas. Yeah, if we just have separate agendas, but keep the meeting running okay. the way we do it online, at least. Okay. I just want yeah. to make sure it doesn't pose any issues, but I I would agree okay. with having separate. So let's add it as a mayor's choice for Monday night so we can decide as a council. OK, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Proton. Sean, anything else from you? Not for me. Anyone else? If not, that will conclude today's mayor's manager's meeting. Everyone, I'll see you all tomorrow. Most of you. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.